so right now I need a hot uh, a widget for my uh, enemies and all of my objectives instead of this compass that I have here that's completely on the screen because people were having problems um, they didn't know where the objectives are they didn't know what to do uh, in the game so they I have to show them just hit them in the face that this is the objective so I've come up with a plan about it so this is what you see here these are the uh, enemies it's just a uh, placeholder at this moment there are two ways to do it one is doing it by a screen widget which is uh, performance wise is not really a logical thing to do and this is based on um, post processing volume so wherever that character is it just uh, changes it changes that meshes uh, color in the post processing volume which is completely based on GPU and it's more cheap so let me show how I did this. I mean, this is a placeholder. I will fix it with you all. So it's just a material. So if you right click and create a new material, uh, material, you'll have, I'm going to get rid of this one. <laughs> Instead, I'm going to have a color. Uh, it's just so buggy at all times. Don't know what. Let's create a new material together. So M underline objective icon, and um, I'm going to use this scene texture mask RGB. So copy it, paste the scene texture. Is just type in scene uh, texture and make sure it's set to post process. Uh, input zero and then for mask just type in mask component mask and make sure all the RGB are in because we're using a float tree so we need all of that and for the custom stencil we need this so copy and paste this one so uh, it's again a scene texture, but it's set to custom stencil, and we, it, in the mask we are only using R, and um, uh, we're going to be subtracting it by three because I'm using the <laughs> other numbers for my other things in my post processing volume. So I'm using three, which translates to four in um, in this place. In let me show you that in the uh, custom depth stencil value. So just before that, come into your project settings, so edit project settings, type in custom stencil and make sure this is enabled with stencil because we're using stencil. You can just enable it, uh, but you can't be able to um, use it with stencil, stencil is the number so you can just have 256 different uh, materials 256 different masks all over on the screen so stencil is a pretty cool thing to do uh, so I'm having this so hold L I'm using a layer so if the scene is not using this stencil it will just give back the scene texture if not it will give back the now this one goes into the alpha if not this will give back a color which in my case I want to see it is yellow so this one goes to emissive and this one will be a post process and yes that's it uh, so objective icon uh, you need to find your post process value and type in material in this section and in the post process materials just add a uh, add an array add an array assets reference and reference it like this so save and see what we got okay so they are working this is the material I've used it's just a color so for the mesh you want to use it on, uh, you need to you know. I've added a sphere, it's just a placeholder. Let's 
put it properly. I want to add a plane. Or should I add a plane? The plane should always be facing the player, which doesn't make sense. So let's add a sphere because we don't really need to change the um, the rotation of the sphere. Sphere is always facing something, um, and make sure in the rendering advanced you are enabling render custom depth has and then custom depth sense of value for me is 4 because I've uh, sub subtracted it subtracted it from subtracted 3 from it and then I have to clamp it because the value needs to be between 0 and 1 uh, so this is the whole thing and then comes into the layer and they, they all go into the MSF color so let's uh, you don't need to change the material because you're working with the post processing volume and that will take care of everything it works um, it's pretty big though um, don't know if that's a good thing oh they changed location so maybe I can add a shape to it it's, just, it's this pretty big I don't need it to be this big and I need it to be a little bit closer to the okay that looks better looks a lot better to be honest That's cool. So now I want to so everything's complete I just want to have a color I can add a texture though for example I have a texture here it's um it's a pretty cool texture so let's no it's not a pretty cool texture I don't want to use it so no texture is a better idea than this one uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and um, continue with just a, uh, just a color but I want to ch be able to change this color so I'm going to add something that I can be easily uh, changing so right click in the material section we have something called material parameter collection uh, MC um, objectives color because sometimes I want it to be red, sometimes I want it to be yellow. That it means that it's a pretty important objective and you need to go there. But if it's red, it means that they're just some enemies and you I mean you can just not care about them. So a vector parameter probably. Um default value is yellow and the um uh, definitely the parameter name is color so it's called MC objective color let's see we can just drag and drop it here so we can use this uh, parameter name is color and uh, is it a yeah it's we need to mask it and make sure it's RGB we don't need the alpha so it's just working the default value is um, yellow so we can when we change the um, objective so right now our object objective is something like uh, let me find my objectives Everything's so messed up here. So, for example, power objective. 
I can um no sorry uh, set vector parameter um, set vector parameter for set vector parameter value so the collection is the one we just created and it's not there MC objective uh, parameter name is color and um, the value is we need to uh, let's no we don't we shouldn't do that let's promote it to a variable so objective color and um, let's compile it an objective color is so these are now yellow we need them these, these, these are pretty important and I, I need to have it in here as well because these are uh, where the main objective is killing the enemy but sometimes when the main objective is not killing the enemy I should change that so fly, for example in the fly objective uh, I should change this one to be red so it means that they're just some people that are um, I need to set the objective color as well so what can I now? I can't apparently hmm. So I should just go ahead with the red on this one and um, yellow on this one. Yellow and copy and paste it here as well. So um I need this too for another objective that's about killing the enemies as well so and also what else um, I have uh, I already did that find the clue okay this one is going to be red going to be red um, so come in here just make this up space for me and um okay I already did that so what the attack I'm going to do that and also this one is going to have these two nodes okay but also I need to fix survive the attack as well so survive the attack this comes here and bam let's see so uh, these are my main objectives and they're still yellow um, um, I messed up something this should be going here and this should be seven this is something I was working on I didn't fix so eradicate them so these are the main objectives now okay found a clue so they should be red now and they are that's that's pretty cool okay so it's working now um, they are working all the time other objectives so it, it, this I already checked this I checked 
this was the same thing so this is working uh, and this is again it's pretty cool or maybe what's better though is maybe I could have have, uh, have half of this and half of this or um, an animation hmm that would be really cool so one thing I already set up is I have set up a two value for the uh, pirate character itself um, I have another material that's called stencil and it's it's got a pretty cool animation inside it so what if I'm using this Control C, Control V. It's just an absolute uh, world position, masking into RNG, masking into B. Add. Uh, I'm just waiting here for you to be able to uh, understand what's happening inside here. And noises, uh, noise values are like this. Okay. So, what if we are to Hold M and multiply it by this. And having half of this. So multiply, uh, hold M. Um, and then this. We're adding them together. Add them together. Adding this with a little bit of this, maybe something like 0.3, and then this one goes into the B. Let's see how that's gonna work. Oh, I'm sorry, I uh, just need to change something. This one should be 2. Okay, they, they're actually doing something. So if I'm behind the wall, they're doing something now. Oh, they should be one. Because I'm using two and for, for, the, for the custom depth stencil value to be two, you need to use, you need to subtract it by one. They're being shown pretty well, so if they're behind the wall, they're being shown and it's so cool. It's not changing this screen so much, so the animations and everything works pretty well. So I can easily delete this. And maybe i should go ahead and use something like four in here and then in the objective i can use three okay that's pretty cool so i'm seeing them oh they're behind the walls That's pretty cool. So it's showing everything that's interactable and now if they're on the wall or something, if I can't see them, they're being shown to me as well.
But it's not so obvious, so maybe we should have something like... Oh, and also I should use the color instead of this. Yeah. Um, because we already set the material collection and we need to use it for the um, objective purposes. Maybe this one should be 0.5. So if we have to eradicate everything, it means that these are our um, actual, yeah, that guy is there, so we can easily see. So we've been playing around a lot, but I ended up not feeling alright using the uh, what we've just created, and I feel like the simple, the simpler solution is the best solution for this, because it's not so obvious that the player is doing something and it's just changing some of the stuff in the game, and I don't really like it. So instead, maybe we should add a plane to be something like a pretty small plane that's sometimes visible we need to play around with a lot of things so I mean just got some sound uh, it's four uh, and let's see if it's completely visible Objective icon is minus three, so it should work. Yeah, they work just fine, so that's cool. Hmm, and since it's a plane, sometimes and it's not double sided. Spear was a better option. So let's. Sphere is a definitely a better option, uh, and we should have a sphere that's a little bit smaller, not too much, and this stencil value is four. And now we will have everyone in the scene if they are not too small. I guess they're too small. No, they're maybe they could be a little bit bigger. All I care right now is I want this other function that I have in my game to work pretty well. So let me show you that. So if I get invisible, I should be able to see them through the walls, which I can now, and they're uh, being red instead of blue. I need this function, and um, this is pretty important for me. All I have to do right now is I need this sphere to be a little bit bigger probably just a little maybe 0.2 no that's too much 0.15 is what I need um, and that's it I'm going to add something else for my objectives as well and um, that's going to be it if you haven't played the game, please go ahead and download it. If you are playing the game, I wish you a great time playing the game. Bye.